Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, I'm taking this up from the topic of permutations and combinations. And if I talk about the question that is given to us here, the question tells us to find number of three digit numbers, which are basically formed using the digits two, three, four, five, and seven. And the question tells us one more condition that repetition is not allowed of the digits that you are forming. And one more condition is that the numbers which are for, formed, the three digit numbers, it should not be divisible by three. So we need to form three digit numbers from this options that are given to us and the numbers that are formed should not be divisible by three. And we have to find out how many number of three digit numbers we can form in these conditions. And the answer choices, if I talk about the options are 24, 36, 48, and 60. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for this question that is given to us here. Let's see how to solve this question further and understand how to do this. Get the correct answer choice. Before doing that, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you. And it also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible. Let's see how to solve this question further. So first of all, if I just want to find out how many three digit numbers I can form with this, let's find out that first. So I'm just trying to find out how many total three digit numbers I can make from this list that is basically having the options of two, three, four, five, and seven. So in total, I have five options and I have to form a three digit number. Let's see how many total I can form with this. So basically first I will draw three dashes because I have to form a three digit number and I'll multiply them. So for the first position, I can have any one out of the five numbers. So I have basically five options, but the condition also given to me in the question is that repetition of the digits is not allowed. So when the repetition is not allowed, the one number which comes in the first place that is in the hundreds position, I cannot repeat that number again. So for the second position, I can have any one out of the remaining four numbers. So let's suppose I have a two here in the first place. I cannot have a two in the second place. So I can have any one out of the remaining four numbers. That is three, four, five, or seven. So I have this dash filled with four options. After that, if I talk about the last position that I will have here can have any one out of the remaining three numbers. So that is the option possible. And with that, if I see in total, I have 60 three digit numbers that I can form with this options of two, three, four, five, and seven. So this is the total number of three digit numbers I can have, but the question is not asking me to find out that the question is asking me to find out how many three digit numbers I can form, which will not be divisible by three. So we need to do that. Let's figure out. So to find the three digit numbers that are not divisible by three, will actually use the opposite idea. So we already found out how many total three digit numbers I can form that is 60 minus, I will try to find out how many three digit numbers out of this 60 would be divisible by three. So we are going to find out how many three digit numbers would be actually divisible by three. Whatever number of three digit numbers I get, I'll subtract that from 60 to get me the answer of the question that is asked that number of three digit numbers, which are not divisible by three. So first let's try to find out how many three digit numbers I can form, which will be divisible by three. Now when a three digit number or when any other number is divisible by three, if I use the idea of divisibility test of this, I know some of the digits should be divisible by three. Then that number is also divisible by three. So if I take an example, let's say if I have a number, let's say three, six, nine, if I take the sum of them, three plus six, nine, nine plus nine, 18, 
and 18 is divisible by 3, that tells me 369 is also divisible by 3. So that's how you form a three-digit number. So you just take the sum of them. If that is divisible by 3, then I can say the number is also divisible by 3. So let's try to find out how many three-digit numbers I can form with this options. 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7, which will be divisible by 3. So first, let's say if I keep a 2 in my one three-digit numbers, if I keep a 2 as one of the digits, I have remaining four options and with that I can fill the other two digits. So let's say if I put a three here, so two plus three is already five. And if I put a four, that is nine and that is divisible by three. So one such combination I can have is of a number which will have two, three and four. Then if with same two, if I use a three, let's say, and it's two plus three, five. And if I use a five, then 2, 3 and 5 will not work because the sum is 10. With 2 and 3 again, if I use a 7 which is left, that gives me 2 and 3, 5, 5 and 7, 12. So this also works. This will also be divisible by 3. So I have got already two combinations. Now with same 2, I have already used 3 so I will not use 3 again. With 4 if I go and after 4, it is already 6. And if I use 5, that is 11. So that does not work. Again with 2 and 4, I also have the option of putting a 7. So if I put a 7, 6 plus 7, 13, that also doesn't work. So with 2, 3, we tried all of them. With 2, 4, we tried this both. Now let's try with 2 and 5. So after 2 and 5, only 7 is left. So if I put a 7, 2 plus 5 is 7, 7 plus 7, 14, that also doesn't work. So with starting of 2, means if I have one number as 2, I have only two options where three, uh, where the numbers would be divisible by 3. So I have this 2 out now because I have tried 2 with everything. Now let's try with 3 as one combination. So if I keep a 3 here, I can have 4 and 5. So if I put 4 and 5, I get 3 plus 4, 7 and 7 plus 5, 12. So this works. Again with 3 and 4 fixed, I can have a 7. So 3 plus 4, 7, 7 plus 7, 14 doesn't work. So this is also out. With again 3, I can have 5. So if I have a 5, the only option left is 7. And if I do that, 3 plus 5 is 8 and 8 plus 7 is 15. So this also works. So after that, I don't have any other options for three. So then let's go for four. So if I have four with four, I have only left with five and seven only options possible. So only two numbers are there and I have two to be placed. So four plus five, nine, nine plus seven, 16. So that also doesn't work. So four is out. And then with five and seven, I cannot form a three digit number because repetition is not allowed. So basically I have four combinations of numbers. I have 2, 3, 4. I have 2, 3, 7. I have 3, 4 and 5. And I have 3, 5 and 7. So these are the four combinations I have. And with the first combination, if I see, if I want to form a three digit number out of 2, 3, 4, I can select any one out of the three. Reputation not allowed. So from the remaining two, I can select any one of them. And for the last position also, I can select, I only have one option that I have to put it here. So basically I can form six different three digit numbers with this options of two, three, four. Similarly with this options of two, three, seven also, I can form six different three digit numbers with three, four and five. Also I can form six different three digit numbers and with three, five and seven also I can form six different three digit numbers. And if I want to make you understand how do you get this three, six different three digit numbers. I'll take an example. Let's say 234, 243, 342, 324, 432 and 423. So these are the six different three digit numbers that I'll have and all of them would be divisible by three because the sum of them is nine, which is divisible by three. So the entire number would be divisible by three. Likewise, for all the combinations, I can form six, 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 three digit numbers each. So in total, I get 24 three digit numbers, which are divisible by three.
So I get this number of three digit numbers divisible by three. But the question is asking me to find out the number of three digit numbers which are not divisible. So we are going by the opposite idea. So I get total 60. Number of three digit numbers divisible by three is 24. So the number of three digit numbers which will not be divisible by three would be 60 minus 24, which is 36. So I get the answer to this question as 36. And that if I see basically matches with answer choice B. So B becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of using the concepts of fundamental principle of counting. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on GWE means. And we are going to do the questions from the recent April 2024. So I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question. Thank you.